Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to uh, Pillars of Eternity. So I haven't actually figured out how to send people on adventures yet. And I kind of wish it would tell me how, like as a tutorial or something. Okay, so adventures. Pillars of Eternity. Really wish there was an auto-calculate. I guess a whole lot of people haven't been looking at it. Okay, so Stronghold Adventure... Uh, hmm. I don't actually know. I guess we need hirelings for this. Either way. Of uh, let's see. So I was talking about hard drive space. And people are wondering about... is Do I have a door? I have a door. Fuck it. Apparently our, uh, our dwarf is now wearing an, a larder door as a shield. Works for me. Okay, uh, let's see. So the question is, once I upload a U video to YouTube, do I delete the original video? I think, I think this entire part's cut, because I noticed that frame rate gets like super janky when this happens. Okay, so the question is, once I upload a video to YouTube, do I delete the original video? The answer is yes. I actually, uh, as far as my process goes with YouTube, seeing as this is being past is if it's a particularly long chunk of episodes that I'm going to edit up later I'll actually render it down so for example an hour of Pillars of Eternity Endless Legend whatever can be up to 100 gigs just for that singular hour so that's pretty ridiculous uh, but so 100 gigs for you know an hour of footage is pretty ridiculous I don't even know where I'm going at this point Deerford Village so let's, uh, let's check our journal So let's think. Uh, so we can go do never... Uh, where's Radrix Hold? I really wish it would tell me. East of the Eastern Wood. Great. Don't actually know where that is. Master Below. Explore the Endless Pass. Not a bad idea. Rings is beneath Kaidnua. Okay, spend time. And Eater. Okay, so we're going to... I guess we're going to... The Queen thing. So let's get out of here. Oh, game is paused. So... Where's the Easter wood? I don't know. Strange. So we're... I guess we're heading for uh, Defiance Bay for the time being. Cause, yeah, I have, no, I have no idea where that dude is. Alright, Woodland, Woodland Pants. Oh, right. Wasn't this the place I was getting my ass kicked? By giants and stuff. It was. Yeah, I think this is the place... I cannot keep up this pace. I think this is the place where I got my ass kicked. By giants and stuff. So let's see if we're any better. Now that we've done at least a couple of side quests. Unfortunately, I just realized, eh, no, we're a little bit injured, but it's not so bad. Okay. So here's the question. Can you guys engage everybody? Well, if you can engage both, we're going to be in a good position. There we go. Hmm? So as long as you can piss off this troll, there we go. Okay, so the tanks have engaged. Now let's take a look hmm? what we can do here. So you can buff, right? Blessing. Yeah. So that's not going to heal everybody, and you. Yes. Common target. Hell, head all the way over there. Okay, perfect. We want one of these. A little bit more. There we go. I really wish you could actually, like, set an order to, like, move to and shoot from this direction. I'm trying to remember the specific game that lets you do it. Uh, oh, is it... XCOM, XCOM might let you do it. And that would, I, like, that would really enhance the uh, tactical feel of this. Because it having to, like, constantly shift people around. And... Uh, just to set up spells and abilities. Okay, there we go. And now that's going to be rolling all over the place. Uh-oh. Shit. Run. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so we need we need to go after the pig world, pig world for the time being. Everything else. Nope. What is it? There we go. You are not getting out of my sight. Looks like oh, hey. you need to hit him. Looks like this is working. How okay. may I help you? What can you do? No, that's not gonna be useful. Try some magic missiles. And you should be going for him too. Or her. I don't even know. Are pigwas male or female? They just look freaky. Yes. That's all I can tell. Either way, up. 
Well, as long as they're focusing on the tank. Holy shit, that hurts. How may I help? Now, are you going to go? To, he's going to go down. All right, I'm just gonna let that well, happen. Ah, uh, so in that what? case, priest man, get up a little bit closer. We want one of these businesses. Don't yep. Even it. Wow, our caster is just worthless. Uh, sorry about that, Ace. He, like he just does ah. not. Huh. Like, is I'll she dead Margaret... yet? Doesn't well, look like it. All right, keep focusing on <laughs> on her, because the faster. I don't even know if it's he or she. Uh oh. What? Move. <laughs> oh, does that actually that gets Still rid of the alive. AOE? That is good I to know. And sharpen. That is really good to know. <laughs> okay, is it dead yet? No, it's not. Yes. Focus on that. You guys should be able to take this thing. No, you, you're not going to be able to. Okay, as long as that... Wow, they are very, very focused on that dude. Alright, well, they're also stacked up for a heal, so that works for me. Tactics, there we go. Uh, what else can we do here? I assume Blessing is still going. Armor of Faith, though. Might not be a bad idea, given the situation. That should shield them up. Because you focus huh? on these guys. You focus on her for the time being. <laughs> Every... Uh, what? Might as well fight this thing. Still, what is it? Don't let those uh, forest uh, trolls uh, go anywhere. I alike. like how this game handles uh, areas mm. of effect. It's a neat way of doing things. Okay, so you might wanna. No, that's gonna piss them off. All right, you go after that. Go for the heal. Should be fine. Yeah. Hey. Damn. These guys are very harmful. These pigwas are tough as shit, too, though. Like, they do not die. Finally! Okay, so hmm. you're almost dead. You should probably heal yourself. Like, can you can you get everybody? Perfect. Perfect. Uh, unfortunately, he's running out of hit points. So is everybody oh. else. Uh, let's see. We don't have a way of healing... people directly, but still. Should be fun. Let's just defense bonus everybody. Did it did it go? Did they no it didn't. I feel like I told her to cast it, but she's not. There we go. Perfect. What else can we do? Nope, that's not a that's not an ally friendly spell. What else do we got? Charm Beast, not useful. Nature's mark. Huh. Probably gonna want to rest after this one. Holy crap, these things are hairy. Okay, so let's go with Nature's Mark. Hit these three guys, wreck their accuracy, and then you. On your word. We could probably use. They probably don't do slash damage. Let's let's just do oh, some skeletons up in here. Okay. This should be fine. Nope. Don't, don't move. Just focus on that. Oh. Everybody focus on him. Mm. You done with your stick. Focus on that troll. Main character is currently fairly ah. fine health-wise. We'll need healing, but it should be fine. And now that we've taken out the Pigwa, everything should be okay. And these guys also have, you know, reduced accuracy and stuff. Ah. He's running out of health, though. Ah. Ah. Okay, this is all good. So everybody. Focus on the force shell. Yeah, we got this. And then we're gonna camp because holy crap. These guys are messy. And the problem is, like, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go at this point. Like, I don't even think we have any other side quest to do. Which is kind of a shame. Because, like, I do feel like I'm constantly just under leveled for this game. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do as a result of that. Because. It's not like there are a whole lot of other towns to go to either. Not all of us are on such bad terms with sleep. Okay, so let's camp. Camp. Yes. Cool. This should be perfect. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sneak up on you. I just well, you seemed preoccupied. Okay. 
You've just begun to stretch and soothe the aches from your body when you feel Aloth over Aloth, Aloth over your shoulder. He looks away quickly when you notice him, kneading his hands into squirming fists. You seem preoccupied, Al Aloth. Bad old watches, a cult on our trail. What's not to worry about? I suppose I've just noticed you acting a little uh, unusual lately. Talking to people who aren't there, remembering flashbacks of your previous life. I I just want to make sure you're doing all right. Guess I don't know what to make of this either. Then I'm in good company. I should let you rest. It looks like we'll have another full day tomorrow. That's kind of nice. Uh, nobody seems to want any yes. conversations. All right. Take care of it. Oh, here's the one question. Somebody's well? aura is off, isn't it? No. So this is zealous endurance, hey. right? Oh, it's combat only. Okay, I was wondering yes. about that. Of course. Works for me, as long as uh, the defense boost is still going. Hope I can get a couple more levels to get some, like, proper defense. Actually, I should probably save, come to think of it. Ne I really need I really need to mash that uh, quick save way more often, because there's there's a lot of use and a... Hello, who are you? Hush, Itumak. We'll just wait a little longer. A dwarven woman, dressed in skins and hides, leans against the road marker. Her face is turned down, her eyes darkened by a thick stripe of face paint. She's sharpening a bone arrowhead and with scrimshaw handled knife. Her attention, however, is focused on a bear figurine between her feet. A large white furred fox standing at her heels looks up at your approach. Easy, Itumak. It's not him. Who are you waiting for? Short version? I'm looking for a very, very old friend. I'm not sure what skin he's wearing now, but I'll know him when I see him. Can I help you find him? She stops sharpening her arrowhead and slowly folds her arms. That's an interesting question. The last helpful stranger only succeeded in enlightening my purse. I think I'll handle this on my own. Your friend is supposed to meet you here? That's what I heard. Of course, the man who told me so was carrying a staff he claimed was made from dragon bone, but I know Whitewood when I see it. That should have been my first clue, but I had to try something. Back up. What does this stranger have to do with your friend? long version. Here we go. I'm from an island to the far south called Nasitok. I came here looking for a village elder, a man we knew as Persok. I'm a hunter back home, so tracking someone wouldn't normally be a problem. But Persok's trail is cold, to say the least. Why can't you find him? There can't be that many of your people in Deerwood. We're the same people! Mm. He died when I was still a young girl. For forgot to mention that part, did I? I'm looking for his latest reincarnation, which could be anyone. How long have you been looking for Persok? Her painted eyebrow, uh, her painted brows lower, and her compact, muscular frame sags for an instant. Five years. So you've been searching for five years for a stranger you barely remember. Who could be anyone now? That about sums it up. Actually, I know how you feel. Then you have my sympathies. Hopefully, you've got a better lead than I do. How does that statue, uh, statuette figure into it? She dusts the figurine on her trousers and raises it in her small, flat palm. It's carved in the shape of a bear, smooth and round. The polished adra is worn to a dull mat, along with its arched back and ovoid haunches. A soft glow emanates from within. Cute, isn't it? It belonged to Persok. Before he returned to the wheel, he left a splinter of his soul in it. Something to help us find him later. As she holds it out to you, you feel wisps of sensation. Not quite memories, but traces of someone. When I left Nasitok, it was completely dark inside. But as I've gotten closer to Persok, it's glowed steadily brighter. Since I've reached the Deerwood, however, it's gotten hard to read. Some days it flickers and goes dark. Others it shines nice and bright. For a few hours. But most of the time, it looks just like this. I could take a look at it. I've heard that one before. The whole reason I'm standing here is because some so-called watcher from Forkedvale told me he could take a look. For a few Golden Dukes, of course. I was on my way out of the Balmarsh when I heard talk of a traveling mystic who could supposedly see souls. I knew it was a long shot, but what did I have to lose? I went to see this fellow and gave him the Audra figurine. He made a big show of moaning and rolling his eyes, and after I'd given him five Golden Dukes to lift the shroud, he told me to seek the crossroads in the field between the wolf's lair and the twining trees. Go on. He thought he was being vague, 
but I know the area well enough to recognize that he meant this place, right between Defiance Bay and Twin Elms. I had a bad taste in my mouth, but my coin was spent and I'd already left an arrow in his knapsack as a friendly warning. Told him I'd come back and leave him with another if it turned out he was giving me the runaround. I've been here a week now. Guess he had the last laugh after all. May I see the figurine? Why? I'm a real watcher. You expect me to believe that? After the story I just told you? Well, uh, you got nothing to lose by letting me try. Fine. But if you try to run, just remember that my arrows are faster. She hands you the figurine, her chapped knuckles grazing your hand. She watches you examine it, wary but curious. You raise the Adra Bear, turning in the light as your eyes catch a tiny, glinting scratch. The scenery around you melts away. You're standing on a cliff overlooking the water, seeing through the eyes that aren't your own. You catch the musk of beasts amidst the fresh, fresh scent of vegetation, and your heart beats a little faster. You'll have to watch your step here. You look down just long enough to see the sharp, pale cliffs drop into the water of hundreds of feet below you. Perception 15. Sniff the breeze. Breathing ne deeply, you smell salt in the air. Wherever you're standing, wherever Persok is standing, must be near the ocean, not a lake. I see a vision of cliffs high over the water. Does that sound familiar? Your question is greeted with shrugs and silence. Uh, I've got it. He's standing on a cliff. What are you talking about? What just happened? I told you, I'm a watcher. She blinks a few times, calculating. If you'd seen the way he stares at dead things, you'd know he's serious. You realize I've got no coin to give you, even if I did believe you. Uh, let's see. Come with me, I've got other bi business in the area. We can look for Persok on the way. Alright, so in this case, let's uh, let's dismiss Salia. She can go back to the roster or whatever. Uh, they'll go back to the Blackhound Inn in Guild of Vale or to your stronghold if you've acquired it. Perfect. So hopefully I can send her on missions and stuff. I might even make a whole B team to send on missions and stuff. So, except. So now we've got her. Ready, Watcher. Good. Our archer. Ca oh, well, uh, come to think of it, she's probably got better archery stuff than uh, the other characters. So it's not really a big deal. Now, what kind of class is she? Dwarf Ranger. There we go. Oh, she's a Boreal Dwarf. Works. Let's close this business. What is it? And she also have a she also has a pet, Itumak, which uh, actually has a fair amount of health. So we actually have uh, two characters as a result of it. Probably not going to be that big of a party booster. In of fact, course. might not even be a good one at all. But still, actually, it's quick save too, because paranoia is important. Anyway, she also comes with some decent looking magical weapons. Don't actually know how good they are. They might actually just be like a uh, masterwork or whatever, which is like slightly better than usual. But you know what? Nah. Okay. Now we continue with the general process of specifically going after every well, clearing out the entire map, making sure there's nothing ah! left alive. Huh! And it looks like we're in what pretty capable hands as far as things go. Huh! No, this is gonna be too pretty huh! fast. I don't even feel like uh wasting huh! a whole lot of it. Oh shoot, the wolf is getting hammered. Huh! As Back you, you off. Oh, no. Nope. Wolf is already down. dead. Oh. Well, should be fine. I don't actually Devil. know if it, like, dies, dies, but I should probably make sure it uh, well, doesn't get hammered too much. Wish. I don't really know if there's, like, a negative on that. If it dies. Looks like it's he healing. Well, What did I do to the precious bacon? I switched it out. The bacon has been retrieved. Wish. Of course. I like the bacon. I don't know. We just got a dog. I felt like the dog needed a little bit of screen time. I don't know, dogs are cute sometimes. Hello, what's this business? Dead Adventure has random junk in it. All right, well, uh, I guess that's the end of that. Anything else? I, I'd swear we were in a different woods recently with like a, a bunch of uh, trolls and I had to reload, but guess this isn't it. Either that or it's the same area and I just went around it a different way. So I remember that first encounter, but not, not anything else. Got graves and Lay stuff. Low. Hello. What's this? Oh, memorials. Uh, Turdog 
rests with his companion Willow, Thergelios, a uh, benefactor, lord, jongler, catalyst, the fool, dragon of the obsidian order, eternally in the service of the order, Michael Zoldak, Trutnov, uh, lord, Torbjorn, Groton, Vic Dale. Here lies an unfortunate lord who irresponsibly stored above his bed poorly fastened with his magical sword. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Here lies an unfortunate lord who irresponsibly stored above his head poorly fastened his powerful magical sword. There we go. Oh, Night Foxy. Uh, Tulim Mirsky. Uh, the glow of fire shows the way through the night, and the wind will lead us home. Uber, he loved to ru uh, run and run. Sometimes he didn't, but he still kept at it. Then he stopped, so here he is. Mr. Visha, in his dying breath, he muttered the numbers 0, 4, 5, and 1. What could it mean? There's a lot of these. These are all uh, Kickstarter backers, I believe. Uh, so saith Kitana, disciple of Vril, Vril. He is death incarnate, endlessly feeding on the nightmares of tormented souls in the dark tunnels of eternity. In his wake, despairing destruction follow. His power, however, grows. He will be reawakened. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to skip through to see if any of these are particularly fun. Ah, uh, Gorstag, a tall dwarf. Fond of beards and axes. Here lies Boob Plate. Their fans save the day and join their play. Ar knights in shining armor or fools in tights to look charmer. At least not b in Boob Plate inappropriate. Which would make Josh quite irate. Let's see, any of these other ones? Dreams do come true. Uh, by grace of his wife, he pledged and then he pledged. Some more to be binary code. On a pillar or some such for eternity. Hopefully not in torment. That's cute. Zizni the Ratonga was here. Uh, let's see. An avid gamer and dedicated backer to Pillars of Eternity. Come on, get creative. Alright, so this is kind of fun. What is it? Let's as keep going. Wish. So, as it, as you explore the land, you'll find, like, graves all over the place with a bunch of, uh, you know, writings and stuff. So, any of those, none of those are particularly interesting or important. It's just all kind of humorous stuff that people snuck in as part of, like, uh, backing the game. Which I actually think is a really cute way of, like, kind of thanking your thanking your Kickstarter backers. I'm like, I'm never really sure how to... Oh, hello. Wow, we could have ended up fighting both of those. Now you're the one getting hammered, right? You are. Let's back you off. There we go. Now you get back in combat. Let the tanks do the tank thing. Can I really like, change his... Nope, doesn't look like yes. it. Kind of hoping I could change his, like, uh... Dead on. Yes? His overall process. But you know what? Let's just go with the uh, summon zombies. Can't get a and good hope for the shot best. Like this. Well, there goes the skeletons. A little bit uh, late on the upkeep. As Not particularly wish. important either. We'll see if we can... And we're back in stealth mode, which we don't need at all, period. Like, maybe if I use them, but hopefully this dwarf lady will also uh, double as our, like, uh, lockpick person. So I do not have one of those, and it would be kind of nice. So we get some more Brave force lost so you This time, you kind of hang it over here. Now you get in. So I think the wolf, is, yeah, the wolf is actually a hell of a lot faster than my guys are. Note to self, might actually be a good idea to give my tanks uh, some movement bonuses along the way too. That might I'm not here. be a bad idea. So she's got marked prey. Let's do that. And wounding shot. Twice per encounter. Dead wounding shot, hobbling it, raw damage over time. Cool. So well, she's got encounter based abilities, uh, which honestly, I kind of prefer encounter abilities to anything else. Right Is that now. Fox effective? Does it actually do damage? Uh, it does, it doesn't do that much. Like, it's definitely weaker than a standard player character. Um, and is, isn't, is you know, doesn't really make the uh, the Ranger any more effective. But it, it does actually do extra damage, and it's a good off tank if we need something. Right of Hinde Hidden Wonders. Interesting. So in that case, let's actually take you away. Well, You've got a lot of lore. What does this do? Apparently it doesn't. Oh, it's a spell. That's a scroll. Okay. Let's grab that. Anything else? Boxes. And then mushrooms, because hey, alchemy is important, right, right? 
probably should have sent somebody else off, but eh, whatever. Who really cares? Whole party will be fine eventually. What is so, up oh, the mystical bacon. Apparently follows the main character. I guess it makes it. Wait, what is hold it? on. So in that case, oh shoot. The pet slots are locked to only the main character. Damn, I was hoping what I could pull it? up more, uh, more of pets course. and stuff like that. Oh, I forgot to the tree. All right, well, we'll take out the pig rot. Hopefully, it's just one. Nope, it's two. Okay. Where is main character? What is it? Man? You go after this. Pig <sighs> no, he's stuck. Well? I really wish people could like move past. <gasps> Stop! What are you doing? Well, idiot. Hey. Well, you need to go after this. No, stop doing that. He keeps like changing his mind the moment he gets like stuck and stuff. It's very confusing, very annoying. Okay, this entire party. Uh, go for this one actually. You, Wolfman, go after this. Hey, you go after this. Troll will be fine. Uh, what? God, I hate piglins. Let's go with a nice big old blessing for the party. Huh? And wounding shot. There we go. Oh, interesting. Hot. Oh, you can hotkey. Interesting. Yeah. And suddenly we've got a friend. So in that case, you go after this. What? Point the way. Going after this. So let's get that wounding shot up in there. Hopefully you can distract that for the time being instead of yes. the mage getting his ass kicked, which always seems to happen, mind you. And I'd love to use Fan of Flames. And, God damn it. It <laughs> seems to work right. Indeed. Still alive. Uh, let's fix the, fix this around. Pig wizard, going with the burning. Okay, come on. Now, apparently the yellow section is supposed to be safe. Something's... No, what are you doing? Uh, You're not at all the person I'm trying to command here. The controls in this game sometimes a bit indistinct. Okay, so that should. Shot with this. That's it. <laughs> well, do a lot of damage. Good to How know. May I help? Okay, move around. We're doing that again. Yeah. No, the, uh... The yellow section still hits enemies. But it's yeah. ally safe. Uh, that is really good to know. Wrong. And holy shit, it does damage, too. Alright, so that actually makes these piglet fights so much easier. Okay, does Blessing well, improve accuracy? I believe it wish. does, actually. Let me take All a look at it. Only. Uh, Blessing. Blessing... Increases accuracy. And damage for all what allies in the area. Take yes. The blessing is actually really good. Okay, so there's a tree I forgot to loot all the way back here. Let's uh, scoot back. Apparently there's combat. What tree are we talking about here? I don't see a lootable tree. We do see another pigwa, though. Okay, so Wolfman, hold your haunches. What else do we got around here? Can't get a good shot. That. Not with this. Now, chances are... Hmm? She's complaining about her shot. Never really understand. That should be okay. And it's going after the wolf. Damn it. Alright. Not a big deal. Oh, that's it. Should be a lot easier fighting a single pigwa. Actually, what speaking of, they probably take a bunch of bonus damage to fight. Oh, it's almost dead anyway. Bunch of damage Blast! from fire, so... Never mind. Yes. As you Doesn't wish. matter. Okay. Uh, let's see what I'm gonna do. All sorts of other stuff. And I'm noticing, like, the more, more I play this game, the more obvious, like, a lot of the, the mechanics are just based on D&D. &D. Oh, hello. It's a flat out lion. Alright. Damn it. Actually, does a lot of damage, too. Not even slowing it down. I'll take care of it. Yeah, it's already dead. Cool. Makes life a lot easier. Looks to have, like, a pre inscribed hide, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Ooh, flowers and shit. Got to get all the flowers because apparently it's a it's fairly easy to make money by uh, doing alchemy in, alch uh, alchemy in this game. So I'm probably gonna have to keep that in mind. Though I really don't want to spend a lot of time doing hey, alchemy alch related stuff. I think that would be boring. Let's just wail on these guys for the time being. Yeah, the nice thing about the wolf is it actually has like an insane amount of health overall. Actually, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have as much as like any of the <laughs> regular tanks. Holy crap, he's getting work. hammered. Well, let's uh, summon some skeletons. Make this a little bit easier. What? Those lions do a lot. Grave Grave. A lot of damage. Oh yeah, this is this is the area I was in. 
I think. I'd swear I recognize these lines along the way. Or more per se, this dude. Yeah, who had the, the Hearth's Harvest. So I have been here. How, well, how I missed the, the dwarf chick, I have no idea. Well, let's quick save just in case we get, like, murdered by something. Chances are no. Take a look at the map. Like, I'd swear I've been here, but at the same time, like, this feels different somehow. I wonder how. Because, like, maybe, maybe we just haven't run across the second truck. Yeah, no, we have been here. I recognize all of this business. Get some more camping supplies, which we have just loot from her, and she's had a hard childhood. Freaking ogres, man. Freaking ogres. Okay, anything else? Yeah, no, we've we've been here. Still no idea how I missed the, uh... How I, how I missed the dwarven chick running around, but I did. No idea how or why. <laughs> she's a dwarf. Probably overlooked her. Cute. Cute. Okay. Yeah, no. Must have fought him just because I went around uh, the level the wrong way. Oh, speaking of, she actually wants to talk to me, so I should probably do that. Sagani draws up beside you, her fox following at her heels, and takes a seat next to you. Even if you are putting one over on me, it's nice to have a hunting party again. Sounds like you've been home for a, uh, gone for from home for a very long time. Five years for me. Must be 30-something for Ichimok. Hearing its name, the fox looks up. What an adventure! It certainly started out that way. It's been a long hunt. A long time away from my family. Before, I'd crossed the tundra of Nasitok following caribou herds. I didn't want to leave Kalu and our children, but I was eager to visit lands my people rarely do. But five years without finding him. It's like two hours of necking. I'm ready to be done with it. Why do you have to find Persok? Soul recovery is an old village tradition. We call it the Tarnak Elite Sok. Once in a generation, we seek the soul of a much respected and long dead village elder. We tell him what's changed in the village, how people remember him. The only other Tarnak Elite Sok during my lifetime happened when I was a girl, not long after Persok died. We feasted on blubber and fermented milk for a week, and we honored the chosen huntress as a hero. Hmm. Then she left, and we returned to our duties. We still sang her name to the skies during festival season, but we otherwise didn't speak of her. I'm sure your village still remembers you, Sagami. You can to say so, but I'm not so fragile that I need my name chanted in the meeting halls. It's not being forgotten by my village that troubles me. But sometimes I wonder how my husband and children remember me, if they think of me often. Returning to them is what matters. Both practical and true. Still, there's no point in dwelling on it. More often I find myself wondering whether Persok will remember us. You... Claim to see souls. What do you think? Do you remember your past lives? Yes, in fragments. Really? What's it like? Uh, let's see. I've been learning a lot about myself. Good things, I hope. Maybe Persok will be the same way. Would make my job of telling him about the village a lot easier. What would you tell him about your village? Masuk is probably much the same as it was a hundred years ago. We live between tundra and frozen forests, and the land takes as much as it gives. But our hardships bring us together. And the elders truly unite us. They keep the stories of past generations, and they guide us from season to season, through good years and lean. Ituma brushes her hip, and she scratches his head. Recently, there's been a lot of good years. My aunts say... We've had fewer clashes with the neighboring villages thanks to the hunting territories that Persox helped establish. In bad years, we rely on trade with merchants that pass our shores. We exchange walrus tusks and seal pelts for grains that last us the hard winters. Persox brokered a lot of those agreements, too. She holds up the bear figurine. He got this from one of the Aomawa ships that used to trade with us. 
Sounds like Persoc did a lot for your people. That's what I'm supposed to remind him. Sounds like you're on a hunt of your own, though. You feeling the thrill of the chase? Or ready for this to be over? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I enjoy the adventure. Every day brings something new. She laughs and thumps her knee. Just what I expect to hear from a rugged outdoorsman. It's refreshing to travel with someone else who can appreciate the scent of a trail. That's for sure. She rises and stretches, looking around. Might as well keep moving while we've got some daylight. Uh, let's see. What if I say... Oh, hello. I can ask her more. Ah, uh, There's more I can ask her, but I'm going to talk to her later. I want to continue to the Searing Falls, apparently, because we still can't go to uh, Defiance Bay for some mysterious, re mysterious reason. Anyway, Searing Falls it is. And it looks like we're in a much better position for clearing clearing stuff out. Originally, I was uh, kind of afraid that Feels we wouldn't be able like to I've progress at all. In a snowstorm. Okay. Oh, hey, hom homunculus. Homunculus, hey, sort of. Whoa, crap, that's a dragon. Drake, my bad. About the same thing. Anyway, uh, let's back off. You. Arrow. Uh, How may I help? You. Can you... Oh, interesting. So we can manually talk to people. That's good. Oh, there are multiple. Kind of hoping that other one Damn. just kind of ignores me for the time being. Because these things look scary. Huh? Okay. What? These things are terrifying and burning. Damn. Why am I here? What is going on? Okay, this hurts. We need some skeletons. And I'm really hoping that that... Other Drake does not come a call and speaking of, well, you guys are here. Get over here. So you're not directly behind said Drake? Alright, speaking of Wolf Boy, you get up in there. Here do I Am I getting those skeletons? Thank you. Okay. Still Please do not have me face ma oh, balls. Oh. Uh, good lord. Getting our ass kicks here. Ass is kicked here. Now, do we have an anti-fire spell? Doesn't look like it. Brave. And now we're fighting too. Okay, yes. so you... You're currently not busy. Focus on those. Are these Zara priests? Shit. Wolfie. Still alive. Block them off. Okay, you're hey, still in what? trouble. We're in a bad way here. We're probably not gonna live through this, so let's... So much for that shot. There we go. Oh, that was some good healing. Unfortunately, we're kind of in a bad way. Fight on, my friends. Uh, did he get the? Did he even get the heal off? I don't think he did. Or maybe I honestly. Yeah. Don't know. <sighs> this this Drake isn't even dying. Fuck, this is bad. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reload this one. Okay, now let's think. First off, let's save. Quick save. Now let's think. As you wish. Done thinking I know done thinking well, I know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna have you in hey. front, your back up. Ye which one of you has the most amount of health? Oh, hey, it's already coming for me. Ready, watch so let's actually let it get a little bit closer. It's going for him, oddly enough. Works for me. So you guys, seeing as it's over there, get behind it. What is it? Backup tank. Immortal space pig. Can't, Can't really tell you what to do. Uh, so in that case, Good you actually want to be over here and beat this one up from this side. Oh, please do not come after me, Mr. Other Drake. Ah, curse your eyes! Okay. Good. I'm here. Focus fire? That's a lot of fire! Yes. Holy fuck. Yeah. Hmm? Curse this! Not even Ow. Okay. Let's bless everybody. And armor everybody up. Might as well armor them first, actually. Seems like that's a good idea. Because we're going to need a heal almost immediately. As long as that other Drake doesn't come after me, not a lot of worries. Now, if only the Drake would focus on my dwarf, he's a hell of a lot tougher and has a lot more health given the situation. Hmm? So let's back you off. Blast! Never mind, he's dead. Okay. Uh, let's think. Hmm? 
So we've got the armor thing. Now let's go for the bless. There we go. Okay, you got loads of health. Which is kind of annoying. Oh, the fox is stuck. It's always stuck. It's kind of fr frustrating, but should be fine. The other... Oh, it is a young drake. Okay, so if I can take yes. this one out, we have less to worry about. Uh... Do crucible for the soul. I need something sharp. Got that. Let's blow that. No reason why not to. We're uh, he's got a lot of health. I'm very glad he has I'm so here. much. I've let's do that. Yes. You. I don't exactly know what the dragon's weaknesses are. Uh sunless grasp. Freeze damage to the target reduces his accuracy. Fuck. Alright. That was a bad move. What? That was a really bad move. Damn! That dragon just immediately... Alright, run. I don't know what the dragon's doing. And retrospect, let's actually spread the party out a little bit. Okay, next up... No, that's not useful. Is it? No, that's not gonna... that's not gonna help. So let's summon skeletons on this side. We need the extra DPS. They're probably not going to live very long, but at the same time, works for me. Okay. Ah, oh, God, this is... I'm here. Painful business. How much... Ah, we've gotten it halfway down. Unfortunately, we've lost like half of our party. So that's... Uh, it, it, let's be honest. Here. Things are not, like, not looking good. Let's go for more Don't heals. Mr. Dwarfman, looking Here's pretty bad. To be okay, good. I think we almost got this. Now he's got uh, yes? some major debuffs going. He's got two phrases done. Down I'm just going to keep... Shit, he's gone. Damn. They're all gone. The Drake is dead. Okay, let's try this again. I think we can do this. So it was coming for us pretty much no matter what, what we did. It? So I'm gonna I'm gonna scoop my my guys over here. So what yes. we're gonna do? Of course. You lure it out. Okay, now run. So you want to get over here? You? There, huh? you. Actually, want to be bow mode over there. Oh no, no, that's even worse. Tactical well, dragon fighting. Shit's not easy. Have... Okay, so we can't. We we effectively cannot move. Hmm. Huh? Boys. Hmm. Okay. What? Yes. Spread the party out a little bit. Hey. No, I didn't want to select hey. the entire party. That was not my intention. Yes. Well. Ready, watcher. Hmm. I had behind the bush. You over there? Okay, fan out. Perfect. What is it? Okay, let's quick save. Okay. Oh, this is the young one this time. No, it's both of them. Okay. Cool. Let's just wait this time around. Yes. Then you get over here. You can you can do the move. As long as it doesn't breathe fire on everybody, we should be fine. Okay, Still cool. Alive. So, something sharper. next up, Fox, you're going to have to get in there. Regardless, well, holy crap, you've already gotten there. Okay, so next up, uh, let's see if I can get a blessing up in everybody. Actually, no. We need to do Armor of Faith. He's going to get hammered otherwise. Okay. Hey. Now, let's see. You don't have anything you can do. On your word. He can Ready, do watcher. that shortly. Okay. That what? on you. 
You're casting. What do you got? Because we might as well use all of them. Sunless Grasp. Okay, everybody's telling me to use lightning. Fun fact, do not have a single lightning move. Fuck this gets. I forgot how goddamn worthless the mage was. How much health does it have? It yes. could be worse, but it could be better. What? We can just focus on him for the time being. He's still got a couple more heals. Uh oh. Following your lead. Scatter. Hmm? Blast! Oh, it's going after the wolf. Yes. Alright. Uh well, wolf's gonna be fine, I guess. Or something. I don't even know. Okay. Next up, more dots. Oh. Young dragon, please don't. Actually, this yes. is a fine opportunity for you to heal up, isn't it? God, that fire breath is brutal. Okay, so we, we're we not doing terribly this time. Wolfie is down, but that's a... Uh-oh. Run. Need something sharp. Keep your distance. You do not want to fight this thing. I don't even know how much health it has. So unfortunately, we're stuck at the goddamn top of the map. That does not... Oh, crap. Huh? Lucky hit, and he's blood. down. Luckily, we got a skeleton in the way. Yes. Okay. Getting hammered yes. a little bit, but that's okay. We got more skeletons. I don't know why the bard is suddenly a necromancer, but it works. God, I wish I knew how much hit points huh? I had. Can I even knock it down? Chances are no, but we'll try it anyway. You gotta be more care Fu careful. Damn. Stand still. Not even slowing it down. Well, I give up. Okay. So. The hell are you supposed to go? I don't know. Let's go back to Cade Noah. At this point, I'm just going to go back and we'll see what side quests we can do. I, I feel like I'm missing something here. The, the, the difficulty ramping on this game is just mental. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. And like, I just, I'll take words do not properly describe how frustrating this is right now. Okay, so party management, that's not where we're interested. Hirelings. How do I do adventures? How does adventure work? I don't know. I really don't. I have no idea. I guess I'm going to go figure out how to do adventures, because honestly, I, I'm tired of getting my ass kicked. I need, I, I need to figure out how to level up my party, because goddamn, just drakes. And that's, like, supposed to be the next place I'm supposed to go, I think. So, unless there's, like, major amounts of side quests I'm missing, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode of, uh, of Pillars of Eternity, where I'll figure out where to go, what to do, and god, hope I don't get my ass kicked nearly as much as this, because this is starting to get a little bit, uh, frustrating. Anyway, as I was saying... See you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching. Ugh, this game hurts sometimes. It hurts bad.